Computer programming here today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a DLL with um, Visual Basic 2010. So first off, to open up Visual Basic or your Visual Studio, go to New Projects, go to Visual Basic, and um, have select Class Library. I'm just going to name mine Tutorial DLL, and I'm just going to make some random functions in here and our subs and functions. One's going to be a private, um, a private function. I'm going to call this one test, and I'm going to have it as byval, byval a as integer, and then as string. What this means is um, this a is what's going to be used, is what's going to be carried on from when this function is called. And as string means it returns a string. Then I'm going to have a public shared sub I'm going to call it test1 then I'm going to have a public function I'm going to call it test2 I'm going to have byval a as integer as string Then I am going to have one more. I got a little bit confused them. Um, so, okay, and I'm gonna have um, another a private shared function. I call it test three. Byval a as integer as string. And that goes my dog barking in the background. I'm not gonna edit that out. All right. Oh wait, no, we're not going to have this shared. The thing is with shared, if you have a shared, you can't call something else that's not shared. And if it's and if um, you can, it's something that is not shared, you can't call something that is shared. All right, if you see something that says privates, it means it can only be called inside the class. So I can't I can't call this function anywhere outside of this class. Public, if it's public, means I can call it outside the class. Um, if it's shared, um, we'll get into that a bit. And now with pr the private function, I already get a private function. Why did I make another one? Stupid, all right? All right. So for the private function, we're going to have if a. Oh yeah. Also, this doesn't have to be by va by val a. It can be whatever you want, and doesn't have to be an integer integer neither. Okay. So if um a equals one, then return. One, else if a equals two, return two. Public shared sub call thing in here. So I'm gonna have byval again in here. Byval a as integer. I'm gonna have if a equals one message box one. Else, if a equals two, then message box. You know, you guessed it. Two for the public function. We're going to have if a equals one, then return test a. Else, if a equals two, return test. A. Then I'm gonna have else return nothing. Okay, so I have a forgot to have another return method here. So else return nothing. All right. So when this sub is called, 
it's just either going to message one or two, um, whatever whatever the a equals. When this function is called, it's going to call this function with this carried out into this. And if it equals one, or if this equals one, it's going to return one to this function, and it's going to return um, the answer back to where it's being first called from. I know it's hard to explain, but you'll get the point in a minute. After you've got your code finished out, let's save it. Um, save it to where I usually save it. Then go to build, build um, your project, and open up another instance of Visual Studio or Visual Basic. I'm going to make another project. I'm going to make it a Windows form. I'm going to call it tutorial. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to add two buttons. and one text box. For the first button, I'm going to have... Oh, I almost forgot. Go to your Solution Explorer, click Show All Files, right-click on References, click Add Reference, go to Browse, and Browse to your DLL. One's located here. And then I'll go to the top of the class, type in imports, and then your DLL, and put dots, and then class1. The class1 is the name of the class, um, of course. And then we're going to have, and if it's, if you have any um, functions or subs that are not shared, such as this one, you're going to need this code dim and then have any variable you want. I'm going to call it new class and then as tutorial dll dot class one which is the same thing as that. For this one now for the first button I'm going to have it do test one which was shared so I'm not going to need to use this variable I just do tutorial dll dot class one dot test one then text box one dot text for the second button I'm going to have its I'm going to have um message box and I'm going to have new class which is the variable up here that we created new class dot test two then have text box one dot text and there we have it. Now let's just run the code. I'm going to type in one and then we get one. And where we got that from was this one is calling test one which is this right here. I typed in one um, it carried on um, this one got carried through to the A and it got checked right here if A equals 1 which is, it did to message box 1 now if I type in 2 message box 2 oh yeah I forgot to um, when you're creating the when you're creating um, the variable up here it's got to be as new stop and run it again see if it works 1 and then button 2 and then there we go now how this is working, same thing as the other one. Oh, this is in the way. It's, um, test, or the button 2 is test 2. So the 1 is getting carried to the A, or to the A in here, and then it's being carried on to the private function through here, because it's returning test A, and our test, and this is test. And A is being carried from here to here. And if A equals 1, it's going to return 1 back to this and return it back to where it was called from here. I type in 2, it'll work. And if I type in 3 or something else, I really have no clue what will happen. Let's find out. Oh, return nothing. Hence the statements, nothing there and nothing there. Alright, if you have any other questions, comments, some no request or anything like that. Um, please message me. 
I'll be glad to help you out if um, this doesn't make any sense to you or I need to explain it better. I'm not really good at explaining things when I, when I don't plan them out. But yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, just um, please um, ask them and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching.